Hi everyone. Um, today I am attempting an angel wing pour. Um, I've done all my prep already. I've covered the canvas in my black base paint. Um, I've layered um, the colours and I have the black here as well. And I'm going to do this with a uh, paint kiss pour technique. Never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I've gone with um, uh, contrasting colours of orange and blue with a layer of white in between each layer. Um, that should prevent muddying of the uh, colours because they're on the opposite sides of the colour wheel. I don't want them to uh, get mixed up and uh, muddied. Okay, um, this is from what I could figure out by thinking about it. It might be a little bit tricky because you have to keep watching this bit here to make sure the paint kisses. Um, essentially what a paint kiss pour is, you pour at the same time from two cups, making sure the paints uh, touch each other before hitting the canvas, touching i.e. kissing. And the canvas is at an angle, so the paint will run down towards the bottom. That's the idea and we'll see how we go. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I stopped. I guess I'm hesitant because I'm not sure if it's going. This is going like it should be. Okay, let's just move this along here a little bit. Seriously, I'm wondering if I should have had the colours the other way around after all. The black at the bottom. Oh well, you know, it's worth having a look to see what happens. I don't think I've ruined the design too badly, but we shall see in a second. Oh, it's starting to pour down the side, I think. Not quite working out as I thought it might, but, you know, we'll know for next time. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, I had my thinking process 180 degrees the wrong way around. I should have had the black <clears throat> towards the uh, bottom of the canvas. Then I would have had the nice black in the middle and the angel wings towards the sides. But, <clears throat> you know, it's okay. I think it still has the potential to be a pretty nice design. So I'm just going to really, really carefully stretch it down there's a huge amount of paint here so just carefully going to try and get rid of some of it but not too much i'd like to have some negative space here as well i'm a big fan of negative space i think it makes um designs quite quite interesting oftentimes okay now i'm just going to put my uh little stand cups <coughs> under here so it's level um, really important to have it level in um, on both planes going in this direction and this direction so I use a spirit level to determine that before before I start pouring because it'll be a nightmare if you have a nice design you leave it to dry and then it the paint starts sort of pouring towards uh, one one of the four edges or one of the corners or whatever so, looking at this, I think it's really actually quite nice. Not the angel wing effects I was hoping for, but I am really happy with the way this turned out nonetheless. I love these stripes down here. 
and just there that bit there I might get rid of because it seems like um, a lost blob thing right there in the middle that doesn't belong there so for that I have a syringe somewhere excuse me while I go rummaging around my uh, supplies a minute oh it's in the bucket okay never mind I'll fetch it out some other way in my hands. I keep a bucket of water right next to me here so I can uh, dump everything in there to to soak so I don't lose lose my supplies. I'm just gonna try actually now I just recall using just your finger gloved finger can be a pretty decent way of getting rid of unwanted bits. Another way is to really carefully drizzle um, like in this case the uh, black paint on it and just sort of steering the unwanted paint away from away from the canvas edge but that was so close to the bits I wanted to keep that I'm not doing that and now I'm just going to torch the air bubbles there's quite a few of them although I mixed these quite a few hours ago but it's okay I think in a lot of cases, uh, the sort of bubbles or the uh, dots that come out as uh, as a result are quite a nice part of a fluid painting. Yeah, I like it. I added some pearlescent in the blue and in the white. And from this angle here, I can see the effects already. Um, I will put the um, paints that I used and the uh, proportions of them in the description but they are paints that I can get here in Finland locally so I don't know how how the proportions will translate to everything else but they have such yummy colors they are beautiful I mean the orange I have to show you um, just gonna wipe my hands just a sec the orange it's just called orange, but look at that color. It's fantastic. Um, and the other one was, this is ultramarine blue and the shade is just so gorgeous. I uh, mixed up some, um, mixed that with some uh, pearlescent blue and I can see a really nice sheen happening here. Okay, see how that's moved? That's because my paints are pulling everything down uh, from underneath the edges. So I need to keep doing this quite a lot for the next half an hour, an hour maybe, while the paint set or start to um, dry and, um, you know, well, yeah, start to dry a little bit. And this is to prevent the, uh, I'm sure I just said that, but prevent the uh, design from being pulled down. Okay, so that is all there was to it. I will try the um, uh, angel pour, uh, angel wing pour again because I just figured out what I did wrong. Kind of silly not to think it through properly, but you know, live and learn. And yeah, that was it. Um, just going to finish the edges. I have some um, canvas showing through in places, so I'm just going to go through it through these, um, all the edges, make sure I have paint everywhere that it's meant to be and not where it's not meant to be. <laughs> and uh, that was it. Thanks ever so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi again. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you before I go. Um, I've literally just been sitting here wiping from under the sides, done nothing else. But my issue at least with um, paint kiss pores and uh, ring pores is that I never ever catch the last bit really neatly. It's just lack of practice. Um, some people seem to do it effortless, effortlessly, I don't. And uh, yeah, if the bit where the uh, pouring ends becomes a part of your design it can look a bit funny I think 
it's just sort of blobby it's not bad but if you wanted to correct it just grab a toothpick and some paper so you can wipe the toothpick in between and all I do is go along and imitate the uh, curves in the rest of the paint it's just a really effective way of sort of masking the uh, not the problem areas but the perhaps not so tidy areas I know this is sort of like really splitting hairs and being pedantic about things almost but I like playing with the uh, design a little bit afterwards it doesn't need to be perfect but I do like doing this because it leaves a really really nice little something here in the end that it splits those um, uh, blobs really nicely and just be careful when you uh, lift the uh, toothpick off the canvas to uh, sort of bring it up gently so that you don't leave too much of a mark with it yeah I think that already looks a lot better I may just uh, make these oh miss that bit make these go up like that a little bit yeah that's good I like that and like that my hand is not quite a steady sort of hanging up in the air so I'm gonna just lean it on my other arm it's so hard because you obviously <laughs> can't exactly lean your arm on the on the painting can you imagine the mess you'd make ruin painting and a bit of a wash up okay yeah that's good i like that it's making it look a little bit more finished i'm gonna leave that there but i'm just gonna make it see that little bit there just gonna make it a little teeny bit longer okay that didn't work need to remove it looks awful okay i just gently dab it right there and this has gone okay um perhaps just a little bit more there and there And I'm calling it done. See you next time. Bye.